Hey everybody, this is Brother Paxton. I am here in Frederick, Michigan today, and I just wanted to give you just a, a thought. Uh, I thought about this a lot myself as Angie and I travel all around the country and we go to different places. And sometimes you can get so engrossed in the road that you're on that you don't realize it until all of a sudden you're lost, right? Have you ever been lost? Now, aside from the occasional tourist, or as we call them in northern Michigan, the fudgies, aside from the, the vacation where you're supposed to get lost on purpose and just enjoy the beauty around you, it isn't fun to be traveling on a road and all the time you're lost but you don't know it. And then when you find out, it's such a disappointment and a letdown. And there's so many people in the world today who are traveling through life and they don't, they don't realize that they're lost. They've got their priorities and they've got their uh, standards that they live by or try to live by. All of us have them. And then all of a sudden we realize I'm lost. Well, God has a remedy and a solution for that. Let's read in the book of Deuteronomy chapter four, verse 29. The scripture says, if, if, and that's a big word always, if thou shalt seek the Lord thy God, thy, thou shalt find him, if thou seek him with all thy heart and soul. And you know, if you begin to seek God today, wherever you are, whatever road of life you're traveling on, if you begin to seek him, he promises that we will find him. And when we find him, he's always pointing us to Jesus Christ, who is God the Son, the Savior of the world. And when you receive him into your heart, you are no longer lost. You're no longer wandering through life aimlessly lost and not knowing it. You're found. You're saved. And you're dearly loved by God. So won't you receive Christ today? This beautiful spot in Frederick. Angie's been taking pictures of the, the river here. This beautiful spot speaks to me of the peace that God wants to give every one of us in our hearts and lives every day of the world if we'll just open our heart and let Christ come in. I hope you'll do that today in Jesus' name.